Hi, Darlene here. Welcome to Learn About God, a channel that is going to be committed to God's Word, learning about who He is, prayer, and just sharing what God is doing in my life. The Bible says we're supposed to give an answer for the hope that is in us, so in this first video, um, I'm going to introduce myself and my testimony, my story, what God's done in my life. Right now, I've um, just gotten out of surgery two days ago, and I'm awaiting some results to see if everything's okay. So, I'm a little under the weather, but I'm believing that there's no time like the present, and it's an important time to get the Word of God out there and take a step of faith. I want to thank a young lady named Purple Roses 26 for being bold in her faith, and also for Mrs. Peach Fuzz, I think her name is. Anyway, I'll get that right and put it in the comments for connecting with her. Because through watching their videos and being friends with them on my other channel, I have been convicted by the Holy Spirit that we need to take a step of faith and get the Word of God out there and not be ashamed of the Gospel, for it is the power of God. For salvation first to the Jew and then to the Greek which means all of us so I'm 51 and I grew up in New Jersey in a very liturgical religious background and we went to church because that was the thing to do you know not because there was any joy there it was just what you're supposed to do and I had a good home two parents that loved us four kids and I just never knew a personal relationship with God and how that would happen. I just thought you go to church and it was boring and I never got it, except I did believe that there was more, that there was a God and I knew that he loved me. I just didn't know how to connect to him. So I went through some very rebellious teen years and tried everything this world has to offer. You name it, I've tried it. I won't even glorify it by titillating and saying what I did because I'm not proud of who that person was. And it wasn't until I was in my 30s that a friend reached out to me and invited me to visit a small, well at the time it was kind of small, but now it's a big church, uh, but a church that taught the Bible and how it applied for my life for today. And the pastor wasn't a priest, he wasn't in any robes, he was a guy in jeans and he came out and the music was contemporary like you know nothing I'd ever seen before so this was all new to me but I felt something tugging at my heart I felt I felt the Spirit of God tugging at my heart to and every time I'd go to church before that I would cry especially at Christmas you know um, I liked to party a lot <clears throat> so backtracking a little bit um, I knew there was more and I could feel it because every time I did go to visit a church or go to church I would weep and cry and not really know why. <clears throat> so anyway, this particular time I had gotten through a very difficult um, times in my life and I won't go into it right now but suffice it to say I went to visit this church and when the pastor said, you know, maybe you know of God but you don't know how to connect to them personally and it really spoke to my heart because that was exactly what was going on with me um, and he talked to us about how you can know God personally and so on this first video I don't want to miss an opportunity for you that if you've tuned in it's not an accident it's a divine appointment um, God is real and he loves you very much and if you want to make Jesus the Lord of your life, it's really simple. Jesus said even the children should understand me and my love for them. You have to say, I'm going to turn from living for myself, which is what repent means, and that I'm a person who's made mistakes, I'm a sinner, and that we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And you need to turn from living for yourself and say, I need a Savior, and I know that Jesus died on the cross for me. He took my sins upon himself. He led a sinless life. 
somebody loved you so much it was the only way back to God. And in the series of these videos, I want to talk to you and teach you about how everything started. But in the meantime, suffice it to say, you're saved by grace through faith. It is a gift of God. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. Believing in faith that Jesus Christ took your penalty upon himself on the cross. He suffered, died, and was buried. The third day he rose again, and he is seated at the right hand of God the Father and loves you right now. He's real. He's calling your heart. Just the words aren't important. It's the heart. Know in your heart that you are ready to receive Christ. Invite him in by just saying in your own words, as we started, I'm a sinner. I will turn from living for myself, Lord, and I want you in my heart and my life as my Lord and my Savior. And if you do that, the Bible says all who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. If you've sincerely meant that, Jesus Christ will come into your heart, into your life, into your very spirit and soul, and um, you'll be a new creation in Christ. Behold, all things have passed away, all things have become new. So. I can assure you uh, I am a new creation in Christ and that the person I was before is not who I am now. I'm not perfect, I don't have all the answers, but I'm not that same person I was before. So I hope that you've made that decision if you haven't already to make Jesus the Lord of your life and that you'll be able to join me as we explore further things of the Lord. Um, His Word, prayer, fellowship. All these different things and these words that you may have heard but not understood. I'd like to pray with you right now. So whatever you're doing, just take a second and join me. Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for this opportunity to share your love and the knowledge of you with uh, my YouTube community. I pray, Lord God, right now that they've, they've opened their heart to you, that you will just help them to feel your presence in a real mighty way. And Lord, if they're seeking and they don't know you or just wanting to know more, I pray that you will just um, meet and exceed their expectations this week, Lord, of who you are and help them to get questions answered that they have. And I pray, Lord God, that you will bless them and their families and all their needs. Right now, I just ask this in the mighty name of Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, if you prayed with me tonight, you can be sure that Jesus is faithful he'll be the lord of your life and come back let's look at more about what god's word says about salvation and what you've just done and know that i love you and care about you very much and i'm taking the step of faith because of it so god bless you and i hope to see you in the next video good night